hey, hey, hey. All right. Oh, I got to invite Miss Peggy. Hey, everybody. Hope you're on. What's in the back of my head? Oh, maybe I can take that down. Looks like I got a little thing going on here. Hello, everybody. There, you can see me better. If you can see the light on the top, if you notice we have a light, then that means that you're alive with me. And welcome, welcome. We are going to change these five habits to save up to 1,335 calories. So that's what we're on for. I am getting ready to call, excuse me, I'm getting ready to call, well, to ask Miss Peggy to come on, and I hope they will. And so... Just give me one a moment, and I am going to bring them on camera. There we go. Oh, this is a It's working. I'm so, I'm so excited. I really am. I got to move this back, guys. Fix my little dealie. Oh. Hello. Hey, it worked. This is my regular phone. I couldn't find my old phone. Yay. <laughs> How are you? There you Good. go. Good. Yeah. How do you like my new thing? I like it. What does it say? Dream all the dreams. All right. I like that. What else? Mine's coming. Girl boss. Girl boss. <laughs> I got the girl boss going on. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> now we need to reverse it, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Isn't it funny how on Facebook it turns like a mirror? Yeah. Well, if our camera was faced the other way, it would be fine. <laughs> We're faced the wrong way. Would it? But that's okay. Ah. Yeah. If we turn our ah. camera around, it'd be right. Okay. It's like the mirror image, right? <laughs> I think you and I yeah. are on different. Uh, I think we're on di uh, using okay. different sheets. You have the change uh -huh. these five habits. I think you were yes. using different sheets. Changing I have the, oh yes, I'm ready to change some habits. I'm doing a different one though. You're one ahead of me. No, you told me. To, wait a minute. So, no. wait a minute. Didn't you ask me to do that one? No. Just a few minutes in a row. Are you doing the the portions? Yeah, I was doing the portions, but that's fine. Oh no, that's we still can do both actually. I thought you asked me to do the other instead of that one. What oh, you know what? I think I did a while back, right? You no, know what? Let's touch a little bit on both. I want to touch on yeah, just a couple of things. I would like to do that one. too. We might as well. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. This one actually had a little something in it that I thought might be worth yeah, mentioning. I like the portion one, and I was like, well, why can't we do the portion one? <laughs> we can, we can. Oh my initially, God. when I looked at it, it didn't seem like it offered very much, but it kind of yeah. has some info in there that's good. It does. It kind of does. Yeah. It kind of goes into the portion thing anyways. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, yeah. So we're going to do a couple things here. We're going to do for lasting weight loss, hints and tips for lasting weight loss, and then what? Change these five habits to save up to yeah. 1300 we'll touch on that. We don't have to go into it a lot. We can do that next week if you want to. It's okay by me. Okay. I studied them both. <laughs> well, we can do them both. They're probably okay. not that long. I don't want to do a lot on the first one anyway. But the All first right. one talks about, um, whoops, where did my page go? Portion okay. control. Portion control, yes. But anyway, it talks about how um, portions, you know, nothing is changing really with the American diet and how people eat. We are still continuing to eat way more than we should, what a normal portion should be. And the BMI for people continues to go up. And it really is bordering on the obesity range. So that's a dangerous thing. Yes, it you know, is. There's a lot, of, a lot of health issues that are tied to that. Diabetes and heart problems and high cholesterol and blood pressure and so many things that just make it scary. Uh -huh. But what I read in here that really was interesting was the fact that um, many people are unaware of how much they often eat. Hey, Tanya. The Food and Drug Administration is actually going to make a change to portions. I know, that like, was very interesting. That was interesting beyond wow, I thought. 
because it's they're basing on oh, there we go i'm here they're basing it on the fact that not what we should eat but Peggy, it's being based on one yeah stop i just okay. realized uh, what alexa turn off the music i'm like i got all this oh. music going now you can talk oh, okay it's done right so anyway there's going to be a change to portion cons control size on labels so be careful what you're seeing out there because it's not being based on what people should eat that's healthy portions it's being based on what we do eat. That's what I thought so was interesting. Given that we are a society um, that eats too much, you know, the United States uh, tends to have people who are heavier than most any other country in the world. Right. So I thought that was a very scary thing. But two of the biggest things I learned out of there that are changing is ice cream and soda portions are going to be know. labeled differently. Of all things, crazy, to change. Right? So ice cream is currently set at a half a cup. Mm -hmm. It's supposedly one serving. But that is going to go to two-thirds of a cup. Yep. And soda, you know, I think we've talked during the week about this, how it has grown. Honey and ounce to a 12 ounce. Right. Exactly. People 12 ounces. So they're just going to adjust it based on the fact that we eat a lot already anyway. You really have to. Health care is the new self-care. I mean, that that to me, the proof is in the pudding, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's scary. <laughs> People don't realize, you know. No. Um, it's, yeah. Yeah. I know. And, um, I was surprised, especially about the soda. That surprised me because the one thing that they always talk about, especially, I mean, they're talking about how bad the sugar is in it or oh, yeah. in the soda and even the diet soda. And then to find out they're actually going to go from the, um, what is it, the 12 ounce? To yeah, the 12 eight to ounce, the 12. you know, and it's That's like. It's and like, a 12 really? ounce can has nine like, and a third teaspoons of sugar already. That's just shocking to right. me. Right. So you have to be it your is. own health care advocate. You have to look out for yourself. It's smarter to don't look at the serving size on anything. Um, you need to be, you know, right. carb conscious and calorie conscious. You've got to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just, I agree. It's just I agree. So I think uh, that was one kind of thing the biggest that thing stuck, that stuck out with that me too. Stuck out. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think another thing that stuck out was um, when you go out to restaurants and, and yeah. you're eating, um, you know, because normally, depending on where you go, some restaurants have the big uh, servings and some don't. But um, with that being said, I mm -hmm. have been, and my uh, son got me into this because he does it all the time, and is these, you know, um, he, bought the, he bought these, uh, what is this called? Prep Naturals is what it's called. But, um, and they has, you okay. know, it's always talking about we should have more vegetables than we have anything yeah. else. Like half our plate should be vegetables. So for me, that yeah. would work to put it on the plate. Well, they talked about the salad plate, but, you know, anyways. But I like these because when I cook the meal, if I put it in here and I separate, it really works for me. It doesn't work for me if I don't do that. I don't know why. It must be my mind. But I have yeah, to put that. A lot that, of it's mind over matter. Oops. Yes. I lost my sign. <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah, what I do. I put half my vegetables and I put my meat. And if I'm having potatoes or something like that, then I'll put that in the smaller one too. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have this, which you measure, and it goes from two ounces to a cup. And so um, my other son uses this because I for his diet because um, he has the diabetic thing going on. And so mm -hmm. they gave him one. I'm like, well, can I use that too? He's like, I don't care, mom. Oh, oh sure. Why so not? What I use. So you know, the diabetic diet is actually the healthy diet. So it is well, how people really should eat. But you eat. know, I don't always want to have a healthy diet. 
I <laughs> know. <laughs> That's the challenge. That's why we're here, right? Yes, right. <laughs> That's why we're doing I am what learning, we do. <laughs> I am learning as, as we go. And I am putting it in. I'm starting to, you know, what do you call it? Don't just know about it, but actually do it. Yeah. 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 So on the, on the portions, I thought it was interesting that you could use the salad uh, plate instead of your dinner plate. Of course, they may have smaller portions in that also. Oh. So I thought that what was a good one. I saw, I'm, so I'm going into this next one, Betty, that we talked about, okay? okay? One of the ideas in there, one of the bad habits. So let's say you are struggling and you're somewhere where there's French fries and you really do want to eat some. Well, this was a great idea, I thought, in yeah. here. Yeah, you know, a regular order of French fries is like 600 calories. Mm -hmm. Divide it in half and share it with somebody and give yourself a treat. But do that in moderation. You know, you wouldn't want to do it every day. Um, but on occasion, treat yourself so that when you have those cravings, you're not just, you know, grazing yeah. and stuffing yourself with all these things that are not healthy for you. So some logical things there that can be helpful, but yet can satisfy your taste buds. Or when you're with people who are eating some of those things, but you're trying to choose not to, and it becomes very tempting, that's an idea to kind of, you know, curb it, but yet enjoy some of it. Exactly. Um, another one was always stick to the recipe, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> How hard is that? How many times? We do that all the time when we cook on Wednesday nights, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> but, you know, it we can be hard because sometimes, you, you know, I think... Uh, uh, that the third one, even finishing everything on your plate is, is no. I've always been, you know, from a child, you finish everything yeah. on your plate and then you learn, no, you don't necessarily have to do that. It's not always yeah. a good thing, especially if you're already actually full, but you've been so trained to finish everything on your plate. And that was bad habit number three. But um, you don't have to and you shouldn't feel guilty not to because you can always take it home for another time. Oh, yeah. yeah, and we grew up with that total thinking that we had to clean our plates, you know. Yes. That was part of behaving appropriately, and cleaning your plate was expected. So I think generations have changed as things have come along in life, and we've become wiser. Right. But, yeah, it's, it's maybe not so much cleaning your plate, but making sure, especially young children, that they're getting all the various things they need, their protein and their fruits and their vegetables and you know, all of that variety is more important. But when making a recipe, it's easy to take a recipe and look at it and think about ways that you can cut calories. Oh, yes. You know, um, yeah. there are a lot of things yeah, you can do that. to substitute, um, substitute dairy things with things that are non-dairy. They have far less calories in them. Um, don't throw that extra cup of cheese on top of something <laughs> when you're doing something that has cheese on top of it. You know, just little <laughs> ideas. Um, using a low calorie something or other than versus you know the full version um you know right i know bad things. habit number four was you're wasting calories on add-ons you won't miss i thought that was interesting when they talked about the salad and the reason oh, yeah. i did is because i'm one who likes to pile on the salad dress you know i'm thinking i got a salad so that's good so, but mm -hmm. bring me some extra dressing please and then it's yeah. like no that extra dressing will get you every time it will really really yeah. um it'll hurt you as far as um not that we count calories but the calories add up and so they yeah. mentioned dipping you know dipping right. your salad into the dressing versus like pouring it over the side right. and i thought that was interesting i really thought, thought about dipping my salad in mm -hmm. <laughs> there are I lots of people really that do that do your dressing on the side <laughs> and dip it or another thing we did is we did a weight loss program a few years back. And um, so when you did your dressings, you did the lighter ones or the low calorie ones, but you only did one ounce. Oh, wow. And that was your limit. <laughs> so you didn't oh. not do them. You didn't deprive yourself. And then, you know, pick ones that are less calorie. So if you do the, you know, the Italians and things like that, versus a ranch with dairy in it, you're going to okay. have less calories. Yeah. There are ways to choose out. things that are, okay. yeah. You know, and granted, we all have different taste buds and what we like, but yeah. That's true. There are ways to get around that, that's for sure. Yeah. 
you know, if you're picking things that are heavy with mayonnaise and stuff, well, mayonnaise has oh. lots of calories. Now, see, that would be a problem for me on this. I just, I really, I really, you know, um, we just got through having salad, remember, this weekend, and it had mayonnaise in it. Yeah. I'm shocked I'm eating it because I can't stand mayonnaise. Oh, really? <laughs> I was raised. You're not a mayonnaise lover? My oh, mother, that's funny, huh? Yeah. My mother yeah. would do the mayonnaise, but... Oh, she always bought the other the miracle whip for us kids because we never wanted the mayonnaise. So, right. Which miracle? Whip That's what I grew up on too. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? You know what's funny at our house is half of us like miracle whip and the other half like the Hellman's mayonnaise. Yes. So absolutely. unfortunately, I end up buying both, which I don't like doing. But yeah. you know, it's the way it is. Somebody won't eat one and somebody won't eat the other. And I know. know. So another great idea is. Um, you know, if you're doing something that's a sandwich, take off that top layer of bread. Yes. Yeah. Or like I do, because I have gluten issues, I don't do the bread at all. Right. And there's lots of gluten-free bread out there. But whether it's gluten-free or regular bread, it still packs a lot of calories and a lot of carbs. Mm -hmm. So I very, very seldom do any bread at all, mm -hmm. just for that reason, because it packs on the pounds too easily. And I feel that even though it doesn't have the gluten in it, I still get that full bloated feeling right. and it doesn't digest as well. My body doesn't digest things okay. very well that are not whole foods. So for any of you out there who are struggling with digestive issues, that's a great thing to try. Go to whole foods, get rid of the processed foods because our bodies are not made to eat processed foods. Processed foods have tons and tons of chemicals in them. That's how they can live in a box for months or years on end because they have preservatives to keep them you know when you look at whatever a box of rice that has all these seasonings in it or um hamburger helper for example and all the stuff that's in those things oh my God. um a pack of one of the least healthy things i can think of out there is the ramen soups they're very you know, affordable very so many people eat them but they have terrible terrible chemicals in them i would in I would never they, eat a package of ramen soup. Yeah. In fact, they say, food. they actually say that it is all chemicals that it, that makes this. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I know my grandsons, for some reason, they just love those noodles. Mm -hmm. But no. It's, <laughs> They're not it's for popular your amongst the young people. You know, you find college kids eating it a lot or oh, yes. kids uh, yes, coming home from school, are. throwing a snack together. You see it at work in the lunch rooms. You yes. know, people bring ramen soup. And yeah. Well, I, they don't I know either. And I go, oh think, my gosh, it's healthy. You're just, yeah, and you you're think, not, oh, you know, it's noodles. So, if the ingredients not healthy at all, I, I find it that yeah. The things that you we, read the but you know, you what, learn uh, in the other uh, study that we were doing about mm -hmm. uh, the portion control, I was surprised to learn that you can overeat with avocados. And if you do, they're really packed with a lot of um, like calories. If So if mm -hmm. you eat a lot of them, and they say a lot of people will, maybe that diet that they have, if they're on a diet, they, they bring in a lot of the avocados and stuff and they're eating them all the time. But that really chucks up to calories. I never knew that. That was interesting. Yeah. And they said avocados have it, but just have it in moderation. They are very healthy for you, though. They do, they're they very, very healthy for you. But yeah, yeah a third of the avocado. I think what they're trying to get at is that too much of anything is not good. Right. Yeah, we have, we have to eat moderation, and mm -hmm. something that we love doesn't always mean, or we'll substitute what we love for, you know, right. we won't get the balance of everything. Yeah, that's true. Another thing I thought was interesting on here is it pointed out that. You know, in a restaurant, the vegetables you get, you really don't know what they're cooked in. That's true. You know, are they loaded with butter? Do they now have six, seven, eight hundred calories versus just having them steamed? You can actually ask that they just be steamed with I nothing eat. on them. And That's then true. guess what? You're only getting about 35 calories in a serving. It's an amazing difference. That's true. It's something we wouldn't wouldn't typically think about. So mm -hmm. it's good information. Yes. Um, and bad habit number right. Five, you want to do that? You eat yeah, when I was you're bored. <laughs> What's that? You eat when you're Say bored. Say that again. The bad habit. Oh, eating when you're bored, yeah. yeah. That's a big yeah. one. That is a big one. I, I was go to bed early at night so I don't get bored. Otherwise, I'm looking for something to eat. 
Yeah, boredom is a big one for overeating. What do we do? We walk through the refrigerator, looking in the refrigerator, through the cupboards, oh, through yes. the freezer, or whatever. Sometimes we just stand there with the door hanging open, right? <laughs> like, what are we gonna eat? <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> you know, we were we were an example of that tonight. For work, it was like, just take a minute and sit down. And then before. You, you froze. Say that again because you froze. Before you knew it, I had a bag of chips in my hand, and Lindsay had a bag of chips in her hand, and Wayne had cookies. <laughs> and it's like, okay, time to stop. We got to make dinner, put down the garbage, you know? Right. Right. <laughs> before you know it, we're going to be full of junk. And this is not what we need to be doing. That's true. I know. And yeah. when, you know, yeah. we don't do that often. So in moderation is one thing. But yeah, it's so easy to happen. And one person inspires the next person. You know, some, someone picks up a snack. Well, then what happens? It's just you like eating too. board. You you go find something as well. Yep. You're out yeah, there grazing and going, well, now you're like making me you hungry. Said. I like what you said about in moderation because um, speaking of that, I think sometimes people forget that, how can I say this? Um, some people, not, not everyone, some people can just go to right. cold turkey and they're just like done with the sweets right. or done with the bread or whatever and they're just done. Other people might have to slowly wean themselves away. Otherwise, they find themselves binging, you know, on yeah. uh, one thing because they have totally tried to go cold turkey. That happened with right. me when I started trying to really clean up my diet. It was like, I was like, okay, I'm not going to eat any sugar, you know, no sugar in the house, no this and that. And then, oh my gosh, I'd go out to eat or they'd have dessert, or I'd be yeah. so like, I got to have something that, you know, you want, you're you walking in the store. Don't ever go to the store mm -hmm. when you're hungry. That's a no-no. So you're going in the store. What do you see? You don't see the good healthy snacks. You see all these right. made cakes and pies and cookies and mm -hmm. cream puffs. That's, that's a downfall. Yeah. And all that. And so you find yourself, and you're hungry, like, and all yeah. of a sudden you're like, oh, I want this and this. And you come home, and what do you have? You have all this junk food. That you never intended yeah. to buy, but you now build your cupboard again with the junk food. So it's better to slowly wean yourself off if you're that type of person that truly, like my mom was a baker. I was raised on yeah. sweets, pies, and cakes, and cookies, and cupcakes. Yeah. So yeah. you need, and breads. Oh my gosh. So you need to wean mm -hmm. yourself slowly if you're that, if you've been on it a long time. Because it's addictive, right. well, let's be honest. So your body's like, I yeah. want it, I want it. So if you yeah. just get so just you know, a little bit, slice a pie, just a sliver, that will yeah. curve that, and then you can slowly just keep getting it smaller and smaller till you don't have it anymore. Right. And then set a time to treat yourself so that you do something in moderation. Yes. Because if you try to take it out 100%, you're going to fail. We're human. You know, we have to admit that we're human, and we're going to have those moments of temptation. So allow yourself. You know, just don't eat the whole pie. Like you right. said, take a small piece. Take a small piece. And if you do that, you know, whatever, once a week or, you know, maybe you're struggling and you do it a couple times a week. Maybe you're stronger than that and you do it once every two weeks or right. once a month, you know. Yes. As you go along and you start to have success where you're losing some pounds and inches, it becomes easier to be able to do that because okay. once you feel better, your clothes are looser, you're wearing smaller mm -hmm. sizes, you don't want to go back there again. And you don't. It's not a place. It's not a <laughs> it's place true. you want to be. Yeah. The minute that you not only do you feel better and look better, but you become more active, your energy level yes, increases. Yeah. There's so and many. People begin to notice and they begin to tell you, Oh my gosh, you look you know, I mean they'll ask you, are you losing weight or you know, or mm -hmm. what's going on? You just you just look good, you look different, you know, and and, and it makes you yeah. feel good and that keeps you going. I mean, it's like not only are you noticing, but when other people notice, it's just like, wow, yes, this is working. Yeah, I'm doing what you I'm know doing. when you know when other people notice that you're really getting there. You do. Because the people who you live with every day don't see it, they see you every day. So exactly. that it's more of a gradual thing where they eventually they go, oh, well, you really lost some weight there one day, you know. <laughs> but other people will see it because they don't see you as often. 
So that's, mm. so that's a good thing. That's and good. We all need that. Everybody needs their ego stroked and, you know, yeah. we all need those compliments and those kind of things keep you going and they yeah. help inspire you and yeah, they're really good for you. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. I haven't to seen have anybody jump on, have you? you can. Huh? I haven't seen anybody jump on, have you? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Mary Franscoffa is watching. Mitzi Morris holding his. Oh, awesome. Machine. Hold on. Tanya. All Tanya, right. I didn't say your last name. Oh, Castellanos. I my thing away, so I didn't see people. Kelly J is watching. Oh, we have people watching. Lori right. Marie Renard is watching. We got a lot. So does anyone out there have some ideas on things that they do to keep their, you know, appetite in check or what do you do when you're wanting to go hit the refrigerator and graze the kitchen and you know, how do you curb that or what do you eat instead of maybe of picking up that candy bar or that piece of cake or that cookie? Any great ideas? I have a lot of fruit in my refrigerator. It's I good. Like it's really I do. Me too. I have fruit to nuts. keep it. I have to keep it. I have to keep apples or the blueberries, especially the blueberries, because I'm hooked on blueberries. And, uh, yeah. you know, pineapple I can only have during the day because it's not good for you to eat it at night because it makes right. sugar in your body overnight and stuff. So mm -hmm. I don't have that at night, but I do have it in the day. But if I don't keep fruit in the house, I actually will crave for the fruit, but that's because I want something sweet. And um, I have to have it in the house or I will... Go bananas. Oh, I have bananas too. <laughs> <laughs> or go get some bananas. Huh? <laughs> yeah, but I can't eat them at night either. They're not good at night. That's it right in. Yeah. So, <laughs> Pineapple yeah. and bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. yeah, I got to have my fruit. Where other people, um, but you know what I found out, Peggy? I found out that part of it, my craving, um, uh -huh. is also because we happen to have some, my girls, we had something and the girls gave me some um, carrots. And last uh -huh. week, oh my gosh, I ate them carrots like I had never had a carrot before. They were so good. And I realized that I haven't had raw carrots in my diet for a very long time. And oh, they were uh -huh. so good. I didn't eat Especially when they have that kind of sweet taste. Huh? Last week. <laughs> <laughs> they must so, have been good taste. Vegetables are good too. Let's not forget the vegetables. I think I need a I think I need a balance now. I think I eat so many uh, of the fruit, but I need to balance it with the vegetables. Yeah, me too. That's my weak spot too. I like yeah. vegetables, but fruits are much more appealing and uh, right. You go for them. <laughs> Probably because they are sweet and have the sugary, you know. The, our our so. brains become addicted to things. So whether it be actual sugar, you know, sweets or a fruit, the brain craves sugar once you start eating sugar. It really so does. It really does become, it's yeah, a trigger. Yeah, if anyone you know. out there has like any, um, like what do you guys uh, do for a healthy snack, uh, whether it be in the morning, afternoon, or evening, drop mm -hmm. us a you know, hashtag veggies and then put what veggie it is or however you prepare yeah. them um, just to have on hand. It would be interesting. And maybe we could do some on our on our cooking show. Yeah, some great ideas. I'm sure lots of people have good ideas and things. And we really do. would like recipes, guys. <laughs> we would. But I think we should, before we close, we should do a reminder on your great little sheet about drinking water. About Don't the water? Better. The water, water, water. You want we the can't water? drink enough water in this yeah. life. So let's go. go over it. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> After waking up, you should drink one glass to cleanse your organs. Yes. <laughs> and I got my trusty cup here. Uh -huh. I also have one to work, and I'm the one who fills it three times a day and makes sure I drink it and drink water at my meals. But, so speaking of that, before a meal, a glass of water to dilute your digestive juices. But what else? It also helps to curb your appetite. So if you drink up that glass of water, at least eight ounces, before you sit down to dinner, you are going to probably take in less volume of food That's because right. your stomach starts to fill with the water and that feeling of fullness and that hunger feeling has been curbed. And so you will mm -hmm. eat less. It's a really good thing. But I had didn't know the thing before about the diluting your digestive juices. So that's good. 
It's very it's good. probably along the lines of detoxing as well, huh? Right. Yeah. And before a shower, you have one glass to lower your blood pressure, which is very important. And uh, for anyone out there, whether you have high blood pressure or not, just to know that you can drink a glass before a shower, which I thought was so interesting because, you know, you shower and you, your water, of course, goes into your pores and everything. So, um uh, right. You figure, oh, but if you drink a glass of water before the shower, I guess with that water going into the pores, you know, also just going over you and then you've already drank it, it lowers it lowers your blood pressure. That's very important. And if anyone ha does have high blood pressure, it's another way to, mm -hmm. to know that, um, you know, your blood pressure is being lowered. Are you back? <laughs> Did I freeze? Uh, just for a little bit, it paused. <laughs> oh, interesting. It didn't do it here. <laughs> I'm just talking. <laughs> I said that one glass of, is to lower your blood pressure before you take a shower, drink a glass of water. Yeah, I said that, that all really backwards right now, but I said it right the first time. And then last but not least would be drink a glass of water before you go to bed to hydrate yourself. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense, I guess. You go to bed and, you know, what do we sleep? Anywhere from probably six to ten hours a night. Uh, you know, everybody varies on what they That's sleep. Right. But you not take and, you know, I... Are you there? Uh-oh. I think you froze yeah. this time. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Are you back? Uh, I'm back. Oh, it's going in and out right now. We're going in and out. Yeah, maybe we better wrap up, huh? So yeah. drink that glass of water before you go to bed, and don't worry about getting up and going to the bathroom because it's good for you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even if you go oh. more than once. That's how come you got to drink that glass of water because you're going yep. in and out, going in and out all night long to the bathroom, so. You want to be they count those you. steps. They count whether they're whether they're during the middle of the night or they during do. the day. Right? They step do. in the steps. They really do. Oh my god! Look at the front side. You can get up and walk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the yeah, alternative is not so good, right? Right. But um, maybe let's mention that Wednesday night we'll be on cooking. Yes. So we join will. us on Wednesday night. We'd love to have you join us when we'll be making a healthy meal and going over some interesting healthy products, and then taste testing. If anybody has recipes out there they'd like to offer, we would love to. We really want you guys. Drop us some recipes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You drop us some Especially recipes. Especially better training. Them on the show. Kind of we'll, style. we'll even give you a gift for dropping that, that, that recipe. Yes, when we use it on our show, then you get a gift. So join us on Monday nights, 9 p.m., for Hints and Tips with Peggy and Betty. And Wednesday nights for some live cooking, 7 p.m. All right. Have a blessed night. God bless you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.